I've lived in other areas and tell people I'm from Alabama, the first thing they associate Alabama with is the quilters. But that's what a lot of people think about when they think of Alabama. And it's something to be very proud of. To me, Bim and Tucker is a center for community where people can gather, where they can learn new skills, where they can come and learn new art forms, new ways of expressing themselves through sewing. Sewing, which to me is an art form, is the reason I met Miss Annie. It's the thing that got us into a shared space. And then from there, two people who probably would have never known each other, but who needed to know each other, met over this art form, this simple art form. This multi-generational, multi-racial group that's getting together and quilting every week would not have been possible 50 years ago. Approaching 2015, so in the second half of 2014, Miss Annie and I were talking about the 50th anniversary that was coming up of the Selma to Montgomery marches. We had the March quilts that um, we do every single year. It's an annual quilting event um, that we do every single year in the community. It's a lot of work being put into them. Yeah, and it's a lot of talent too. You'll be surprised at the different ideas that people have. Yeah, it's fantastic. So the project, because it was so successful that first year, we said, we have to keep going with this. So the second year we did um, gender pay equity um, as a, you know, as a theme. And then in the third year we did the 50th anniversary of the Loving versus Virginia Supreme Court ruling. And in last year, which was the fourth year, we did environmental justice. So we have made seven quilts to date. This year for the Bicentennial, we're honoring unsung heroines of Alabama. It's really interesting to me to see how this art form that at times was dismissed as a craft or as purely, you know, woman's work and something that people didn't really value, but we always valued it and we always knew that there was a way that we could use it to really create change in our community and our world. We know that um, we can do good and you know how people say, well, I don't know how to sew. Well, once you come here, we guarantee you'll know before you leave. But the thing about it is getting them to get in the door. You know, to me, it's very important to look at something that has been in us and passed down to us through generations. Despite everything that our ancestors have endured, it is still something that we are able to do, are able to practice, and it's really important to who we are as Alabamians. So I, I love hobbies, crafts, arts, because people who have an interest in those things do come and seek each other out and you can find your best friend just from going to see if you can learn how to sew. Right. And we get along so good. You know, she's like my little daughter. Yeah. So I, I just think that we are like salt and pepper. The Sew Op is a great place for people who want to learn how to sew. But once you come in the door and you become a part of this very tight-knit family, um, we take care of each other. We check in to see if people are doing okay. And so it, it's built around this hobby of sewing, but it's really about the community. You get a chance to meet other peoples and you learn from each other. And uh, we have a mixture of different nationalities and we talk about anything and everything. We just have fun. It's just like a family. You get rejuvenated. The relationships that are built here are friendships and relationships that can span a lifetime. They are a phenomenal, phenomenal group of women. I mean, I've learned so much just by being a part of this group. I want to be them when I grow up in every way, shape, and form, so yeah.